one morning, had a garage sale, sold everything we owned, and we are camping. When we were looking for a truck camper, we wanted one that had a slide because it does give a lot more room in here. Just make sure you get the correct weighted truck for your the weight of your camper you're going to be towing. I'm Patty. This is Shane. Come take a tour. Welcome to the kitchen. We went from a 3,500 square foot home to a fifth wheel. It was about a 400 square foot fifth wheel, and now we've downsized to a 100 square foot truck camper. Most truck campers don't come with three burners. They just come with two. So that is nice for us to have. It has an oven as well, which is great. I added this tea kettle. It, uh, it is expandable, and I use it to make my coffee. I do pour over um, coffee, and that works for it great. We have a deep sink. We have a nice faucet. So we did add the, um, the three filter system. So whenever we fill up at a campground or we're out somewhere, uh, anywhere filling up with water, we make sure that we have purified water to drink from. So it is a three filter system. We also added the dehumidifier behind the sink, which is a must for every RVer. Keeps moisture out. Moisture is your worst enemy when you're in an RV at all. So a truck camper is small on storage. So what we did is added these extra little metal shelves from Amazon and they keep our spices and other little things that we need off the counter. Microwave here, it's uh, kind of small and we actually mostly use it for storage. <laughs> this is our pantry where we keep our dry goods. Top drawer, we have our silverware and the bottom is our junk drawer that everyone has. Below the oven, we have our pots and pans and extra towels and things like that. Up here above the sink is where we have our all of our dishes, cups, bowls, extra plates, all that kinds of stuff. And down here below the sink is extra storage for cleaning products, uh, some of my workout stuff, and then we have sponges and things on the side. So we have a full-size RV uh, camper refrigerator and freezer. It is a Dometic. It runs off of propane or electric. So if we have shore power at a campground, we can plug it in. Or if we're out off-grid somewhere, it'll run off of propane. This is the multi-purpose area here. I work from here. We eat here at the booth, under each booth is storage, we have lots of things under there. We keep our awnings under there, our extra batteries. Baskets are always great for any kind of small space to add storage for you. When we were looking for a truck camper, we wanted one that had a slide because it does give a lot more room in here. When we decided to sell our house and move into the fifth wheel, and the same when we moved into the truck camper is, for me, I want it to feel more like a home, something that makes me feel like I want to live here and I want to keep exploring, but then I still have a, you know, a safe, uh, cozy place to come back to. All right, my truck is a 2018 Dodge Ram 3500 that I purchased just outside of San Antonio for around $84,000. And the truck camper, we picked it up. We drove from Texas up to Indiana and picked up the truck camper there, and we paid uh, 31000 for the truck camper. And all the additional accessories on the, on the truck camper and the front of the truck were total around $6,000. So we originally had the, the Dodge 3500 to pull our fifth wheel. And we wanted something smaller to take to Alaska and we already had the truck that was large. So instead of getting a much smaller uh, RV to pull, we decided that we could put one in the back of the truck. So that's whenever we decided to get the truck camper, something smaller and easier to maneuver around as we're traveling. Welcome to our wet bath. This is our toilet inside the bathroom. It has a 20 gallon black tank. We have shower curtains that go along both sides while we take a shower and the toilet does get wet, but nothing else in here gets wet. We have a max air fan, the small one that we can turn on that helps keep the condensation out. Then we have these same metal shelves that I used in the kitchen. I put them in here to hold towels, shampoos, all of my girly hair stuff. We also added this little plastic bin 
and it holds all of my makeup and things. Then back here, we even have another little shelf that holds toothpaste, toothbrushes, all of that. We have a small sink as well, and then this hose runs to our shower. This is our shower head. We took the shower head off and we have added this little gadget, which is awesome. So now it's just a little bit that trickles out and you use the sponge and then that's how we shower and save water while we're out. This is our bedroom. This is a um, RV queen size mattress. So it's a little bit shorter than your normal home mattress, but um, we did upgrade ours to a much better mattress. So you want that if you're gonna be living in it. Um, we also added a zipper bedding. So it's a lot easier to make up the bed in the truck camper because there's nowhere to stand on the side. So the zipper bedding definitely helps. Um, on the side here, this is our entertainment area, center, whatever you wanna call it. It has our TV. We have some Wi-Fi there. On the side here is my dresser. That's where I keep all of my workout clothes, my undergarments, all of that goes here. I have storage baskets. Um, also uh, on both sides of our bed, we have the, our little Jackery battery powered. Um, that's where I charge my phone or my watch while we're sleeping. And Shane uses the 1000 watt Jackery, runs his CPAP all night and his fan. Behind the headboard, it wraps all the way around their storage and we keep shoes back there. We keep old DVDs and things so that we can watch if we happen to not have service. And then over here is our closet where we keep most of our shirts, pants, and sweatshirts and things. A quick tip for some extra storage in your camper RV space is this. It's a empty poof that you can order off the internet. We keep our extra um, jackets, there's sheets in here. I have blankets, towels, tablecloths. I mean, you name it. I have stuffed it in here. You could even, if you have kids with you, you can even put their stuffed animals in here. So we just kind of one morning had a garage sale, sold everything we owned and we're camping. <laughs> Patty and I met in 1993 when I was stationed in her hometown of Valdosta, Georgia. My shop had a golf tournament and she was the beer cart girl and she would come by and I got beers. That's facts. Also, he he did say this part. He never purchased beer from me. He had his own beer in his, in his golf bag, but he kept calling me over and I'm like, what is wrong with this guy? He's not ordering drinks. <laughs> So we were married and had two boys. We lived overseas for many years uh, while Shane was in the military. We moved back to the States. They were always playing video games and we wanted a way for them to be able to get outside and experience nature like we loved. So we bought a small travel trailer and went out camping. And then it turned into an obsession. We got a fifth wheel. And then we started watching YouTube videos and seeing that others are now living in their campers and traveling around. And so that's why we, one of the reasons we decided to do it. I had the dually because of the camper weighs 3,200 pounds dry. And it's more stabilization on the rear end when you're getting a crosswind or something traveling down the highway. Just make sure you get the correct weighted truck for your the weight of your camper you're going to be towing. This is my cargo rack. Uh, it goes on the front or back. Uh, I have it on the front attached to the torque lift hitch. Uh, this is where I carry uh, propane, gas, uh, extra water, and in here my cooler is my uh, my extra cold drinks for me. Right here is where I fill the camper when we're boondocking for a capacity of 40 gallons. And what City Connection is when you're in a campground or you're mooch docking off a friend, uh, you can plug in straight to it and use uncontinuous water. Next to it is my on-demand water heater, two 120 outlets, 30 amp for when you are at a, a campsite. My outdoor shower with hot and cold water. Over here is my 30, 30 pound propane bottle. And then down below is my sewer dump. They both each hold 20, pound, uh, 20 gallons each. But uh, we run, usually with just she and I, we can go about six to seven days before I have to dump. You can dump at a Pilot, Flying J, uh, Mavericks, other campgrounds, some city parks. Uh, some do charge a fee. Uh, there's a lot that don't. And like the city parks, you can do that for free in there and fill your, your fresh water tank. So this is my Hollywood swing away bike rack. It'll hold up to 
each bike 70 pounds per bike. Uh, this is a swing out tray that I hold my generator on made by torque lift. On the other side, we have the other swing out. And this is our outside leisure spot. So this is where I do my outside cooking. I've added a tire table, so my Blackstone fits on it. And then on the real sunny days, uh, we have our moonshade up. It's, it stays good in the wind. It, it raises up and down if you need it to raise up or down. And it also, or you can also purchase the sides. Some words of wisdom from me for starting out, if you're looking to do the full-time lifestyle like we are, is make sure if you haven't done it, make sure you're, you can do it uh, in a, either a small place or if you want a fifth wheel, a larger one. Uh, just to make sure, you know, go a weekend or a week, uh, stay in it, buy all your stuff, your groceries and everything, stay in it. Make sure you can just stay there with whoever you're with. Uh, then try it for a month. And if it's something that you figure you can really do, then it's a very great lifestyle. It's a lot of fun, it's freeing. Uh, you can pick up and go when you want, where you want. And uh, we just, we really, really enjoy it. If you'd like to continue watching our journey and all of our adventures, you can find us on all social media platforms and our website. Thank you so much for coming. Bye.